James Ryan, I'm a director of Dries & Summer UK and um, Dries & Summer are a, a global uh, property and construction consultancy. We focus really around uh, at MIPIM, the real estate sector, but more generally we cover real estate, industrial, manufacturing and public sector uh, and we offer the full breadth of multidisciplinary services. Um, we have about 5,000 people located uh, around the world. Dries & Summer, they have a really strong offering anyway for clients. Um, it really is properly multidisciplinary, it's expansive, it's cutting edge in certain sectors, it's cutting edge uh, in, in, in areas that I didn't even know about until we really became part of Dries & Summer. The ability to serve, serve more clients, serve them better, um, and really deliver the services that they need now, um, the, the kind of cutting edge services, is, uh, is really key. Um, for me, I, I like that. I, it, it makes the conversations that I have with my clients more interesting and ultimately one of the drivers for me in this business is um, being able to do a good job for clients and I think now as Dries and Summer um, we can do a better job for our existing clients and we can do a brilliant job um, for all of our clients both new, old and um, wider across Europe. Ultimately it's the kind of international real estate conference um, and for us to have a presence here we've always had a presence here um, is very important um, I'm quite pleased that I can come into this with a, a, a strong position uh, backed by my global colleagues and backed by some of the expertise in real estate that is present across both Germany and wider Europe but also internationally from colleagues in Singapore the Middle East and elsewhere and for us MIPIM allows us to serve those global clients as a global consultant to them. The challenges that are posed by decarbonisation, sustainability, ESG, um, is something that I'm very pleased that we can meet that really well, um, but I, it's still a challenge nevertheless. Um, and uh, every conversation that I'm having is coming back around to things like that. Um, we're only on the first day of MIPIM, but um, already um, those conversations around decarbonisation, sustainability and ESG are key. And um, for us really, um, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a great part of the market and uh, it's a great conversation to be having. A realistic approach. The public estate is not awash with cash. It's unlikely that it ever will be. If it is, then that would be a whole different picture. But finding value um, we've always been quite good uh, as a business uh, in finding value for our clients, trying to make sure that we deliver value for money. Finding value in decarbonisation by making sure that the schemes that are put forward are proportionate to the decarbonisation requirements, proportionate to the sustainability aims of the organisations, and really ensuring that where um, public sector are going to be expending cash, they are in a position where they're getting the most bang for their buck. So we need to look at it through their lens and we need to make sure that the proposals we put forward and the way we help them is aligned to that and really closely aligned for that. So that's the most important thing, I think. Top of the agenda has still got to be housing. It's been there for a long time. It's, um, it's not an issue that's been solved. I don't think it's an issue that's yet been fully addressed. Really, we need to come at that as a whole industry approach and present options both to government and also to local government and the devolved assemblies and, and, and the like to just ensure that there are options there for people to choose from. We can't try and force down a certain route. It has to be an industry-wide approach to um, present different solutions. And um, outside of maybe the housing issue, which has obviously been well discussed, um, I think there's definitely an infrastructure uh, piece there and I definitely feel that um, in the UK uh, a more um, holistic approach to infrastructure, a more holistic approach to assessing the benefits and defining those benefits is needed and um, realistically um, those two things are, are going to have to be resolved before we, um, we really see significant progress uh, in, 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 in general economic growth and in terms of, uh, in terms of I think the productivity challenges that, uh, that the UK has faced um, over recent years.